हेलो हेलो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वेरियस डिटेरिशन प्रॉब्लम्स इन वॉटरशेड एज वेल एज इट्स कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस दिस एनालिसिस ऑफ वेरियस इश्यूज विद इन द वॉटरशेड रिलेटेड विद द रिसोर्सेस नैचुरल रिसोर्सेस एंड ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज विच आर टेकिंग प्लेस इन द वॉटरशेड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट एज फार एज द वॉटरशेड मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिसेस आर कंसिडर्ड सो वेन एवर वी आर uh supposed to have some strategies or some uh, uh when we have to plan some watershed management uh, activities for a uh, particular watershed uh, we should have our uh, uh, detail analysis regarding the deterioration factors as well as consequences and what are the typical problems within a uh, watershed so now uh let us talk about the watershed problems and some complications related to it uh, so as we are already uh, we have already discussed some of these uh, uh, issues uh, in a particular watershed there may be some physical problems like uh, steep slopes uh, or uh, the, uh, the 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 land which is available within the watershed is not of a good quality uh the erosion problem is itself because of uh, a, uh, erosion problem is present in the watershed because of the steep slopes so uh, because of the physical characteristics of the watershed uh, there may be some problems which are uh, uh, which are already present in the particular watershed uh, <clears throat> then there are some other uh, resource related problems like what how the resources are being utilized within the watershed so like uh, the problems related with the agriculture or the cultivation then the problem with the uh, deforestation or the uh, uh, fire uh, of the forest so these are the re uh, resource utilization uh, <coughs> problems so because of these physical problems and resource uh, utilization problems there are some end problems uh, the like uh, uh, the reduction in the yield or uh, the the, the re reduction in the biomass within the watershed and uh, problem of floods and droughts so these are the end problems because of the uh, resource uh, u utilization or the Uh, physical problems uh, and because of all uh, these uh, 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 it eventually leads to the uh, poverty so <clears throat> in a particular watershed what are the problems that we observe uh, that should be uh, analyzed and accordingly what are its consequences uh, the people have faced or the ecology or the environmental aspects ha uh, uh, has got affected uh, that analysis uh, should be done uh, in a in a problem statement of a particular watershed so because of all the factors that we have discussed it leads towards the uh, poverty and generally because of the poverty because of the uh since the people have no livelihood options available uh, they have to migrate from one uh, area um, so that leads to the migration from uh, generally from uh, rural area to the uh, nearby uh, urban uh, places so uh, these are the socio economic problems that people have to face uh, now uh, talking talk talking now we have to talk about uh, some of the complica complications so these uh, watershed uh, related problems generally uh, lead towards uh, the complications uh, they can be categorized uh, with the land use as well as the uh, water related issues so as far as the land uh, related issues are considered uh, the change in land use pattern so uh, the, the 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 loss of uh, agriculture area or the uh, forest area that generally Uh, changes uh, the land use patterns and uh, this leads towards uh, the pollution of various other uh, resources natural resources like water uh, uh, and th these all are basically because of the uh, human uh, influences so land use pattern generally changes because of the human in influence and uh, 
this is one of the complications so there are some remedial uh, measures are available uh, uh, for the land issues like land management or to prevent the pollution uh, uh, at the source itself so how much uh, fertilizers we are using on the land for the agriculture uh, that may lead towards uh, to to the pollution of the uh, natural resources so to control the fertilizer usage uh, to control the pollutants at the source itself that that are some of the remedial measures uh, which uh, which can be adopted which can be suggested so similarly uh, uh, the the complications related with the water resources so uh, the the surface and ground water quality as well as the quantity as we have already discussed in uh, earlier session uh, so so what are the remedials uh, which we can suggest for a particular issue uh, the remedials like uh, changing in the uh, cropping pattern or the uh, change in agriculture or to to have the agri better agriculture management uh, practices uh, then to have uh, watershed harvesting uh, uh, what to suggest the watershed har harvesting uh, within the watershed that can be one of the uh, uh, the uh, remedial measures uh, then to stop the point as well as non point source of pollution uh, to to uh, to overcome the quality issues of uh, surface as well as ground water sources so uh, uh, overall uh, till now we have discussed uh, the concept of watershed then we have seen uh, what e what are the characteristics of watershed uh, then the principles of watershed management what are the different approaches for watershed management and then we have seen um, uh, 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 what are the uh, uh, problems uh, in watershed uh, then uh, resource problems or uh, uh, the problems occurring because of the human activities and what are its consequences uh, and uh, then uh, we have uh, we have discussed about the complications in watershed uh, now we are going to see uh, looking after all this analysis now we are going to uh, talk about the uh, necessity of watershed management <laughs>